Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So during interview, whenever you are asked one coding problem, it's very important how are you approaching towards the solution of that problem. Because sometimes, even if you are not able to give the complete solution of that problem, it's very important for the interviewer that what approach you are taking towards that particular coding problem. It's important for them because that way they will be judging you. And that is why today I will be discussing some of the best approaches for three top most frequently asked linked list coding problem in interview. So let's get started. So the very first question that we are going to discuss today is remove nth node from end of the linked list. Suppose you have been given this linked list and you have been asked to remove the fourth node from end of the linked list. And which is this? Here will be 1, 2, 3, 4. So you have to remove 1 from this linked list, which is the fourth node from end of this linked list. Now, for this particular question, you have to remember one thing. That removing nth node from end of the linked list is similar to removing L minus N plus 1th node from the beginning of the linked list. Where L is nothing but the length of your linked list. Okay, L is nothing but the length of your linked list. Now, the thing is, if you are going to traverse the whole linked list and get the length of the linked list and then try to remove it in this way that I just told you L minus N plus 1 from the beginning of the linked list, in that way, you will require more space. And in that case, the space complexity will be somewhere big go of N. And obviously, your interviewer will be asking you to improve that space complexity in that case, right? So, to improve and to, we will be discussing the best approach so that this, this space complexity will be somewhere big O of 1. Okay. So now, to do that first, we will be taking two pointers. One fast pointer and one slow pointer. Along with that, we will be taking one dummy node. Okay. And this dummy node's next part will be pointing to our head of this linked list. So obviously when we have a linked list, we know that the head means, head is pointing to the first node of the linked list, right? So these next is pointing to the head of your linked list. So which means something like this, D pointing to the head of your linked list. Okay, these next is pointing to the head of your linked list. Now, one more thing is, your initially, your fast pointer and your slow pointer will be pointing to your dummy node. Okay. And why we have taken this dummy node, which whose next is pointing to the head, I will be discussing in a minute. This is basically for the edge case in this scenario, I will be discussing in a minute. So, let's move on. So, first of all, we will see how this fast pointer and slow pointer will be working. First, we have to move the fast pointer till n equals to 4 from the starting of the linked list. So when i equals to from starting from suppose i equals to 1 to i lesser equals to n. Okay. So fast pointer will be coming here. Then fast pointer will be coming here. Then here. Then n equals to 4 means fast pointer will be coming till 7. Okay. Then will be moving the fast and slow pointer together till the point your fast pointer reaches the end of your linked list. Okay. So now slow pointer will be also coming into picture. Now slow pointer comes here. So obviously fast pointer also will be moving one more point. Again slow pointer move towards the next part. So again your fast pointer will be coming to the next part. See here we have already reached the last part or I mean last and node of the list. So we will stop here. And slow pointer will be stopping here. So if you see here we already reached to the previous node which one like we have reached till the point whose next part we have to remove it. So what we can do is here S next equals to S next hyphen next which means that now S next part which was 1 previously is pointing to S next to next part 
which means s next part is pointing to 7 right now and your list becomes something like this 7 9 3 because if you see till till this time s was pointing to 6 s next part means s next part means 1 right so now s next part means s next which is 1 then it that the next of that which was 7 so now s next part is pointing to 7 and that is how we got our new link list where we have removed the n equals to fourth element from end of the link list that is one part now we are talking about the edge case right for which we have taken this dummy node so suppose that you have been asked to instead of four you have been asked for six from the end of the list which means one two three four five six which means the start or head of your link list right and in that case obviously similar way the fast pointer will be moving from here to here so till n equals to six which means one two three four five six right but when we are talking about the second traversing in which we have taken the condition that till the time your fast pointer reach the end of your link list that uh, so that particular condition doesn't match is right because your fast pointer already reached the end of your uh, link list in the first traversing itself so that is why the second pointer won't be moving here in that scenario right won't be moving here because your fast pointer only reaches to the end so that is why here what happens now what we know like s next equals to s next to next right what we know initially s is d d is next is head so s next means head so now what happens s next equals to s next which is head next to next means 6 so right now s next means what d s means what d s next means what head so right now s next means your head of the link list will be pointing to head next which is 6 because head was previously 2 will be pointing to head next which is 6 so the same condition will be applicable to there as well and that is why we have taken this dummy node and in this way where you have taken this two pointer and working like this here your time complexity will be n and your space complexity will be big o of 1 so the next most important linked list problem which has been asked in the interviews most of the time is detecting a loop in linked list suppose you have been given this particular linked list here we can see that there is a cycle or loop has been created okay but how to detect it so before that whenever you are trying to detect the loop in linked list you have to consider or keep this approach in mind that every time whenever you have reached that particular first node whose next node you have already visited it means that there is a loop and that is where the loop has been started okay so the best approach to detect a loop in linked list is to by using floyd cycle algorithm which we already which we also known as like uh, heron tortoise algorithm and in this algorithm we will be using two pointer one is fast pointer which is which you can consider it as here and the second one is slow pointer which we can consider as tortoise okay so now suppose this is your link list so every time your slow pointer will be moving one step your fast pointer will be moving two steps in this way okay because obviously next means one node it is moving but next to next means it is moving two steps two nodes it is moving so let us check how it is happening at the very first time your fast and slow both of the pointer will be pointing to your head okay it will be pointing to your head now suppose here both of them currently they are pointing here s and s both okay now s will be moving to one node while f will be moving to two node and again s is s has moved till 
then now s will be moving to this one while f will be moving to two more nodes here similarly when s will be moving to next point which is which is 4 then f will be moving to two more point which is 7 now s will be moving to 5 s will be moving to 5 whereas f will be moving to f 9 when s will be moving to 6 f will be moving to 0 sorry not 0 two two nodes right so it will be moving to f okay when s will be moving one more step f will be moving towards 6 okay now s will be moving to 8 right now if you see here f will be moving to 8 same as f and this is the condition whenever your s and your f will be pointing to the same node it means your linked list has a loop and you will stop there and you will just print that yes your linked list has a loop okay so here also the time complexity will be big o of n and the space complexity will be big o of 1 because the space that you required to detect the loop is constant. Now the third most important question has been asked in interview is after detecting a loop in a linked list, how you can remove the loop from the linked list? Okay, so till this time we have figured out how you can detect whether a loop is there in your linked list or not. Now, in the similar way, using Floyd cycle algorithm only, that particular those two pointer only will be using so previously our slow and fast pointer was here right now what we will do is we will be taking any one of the pointer and point that to the head of the node suppose we are taking slow okay and we are pointing slow right now to the head of the node okay so now here slow will be here now we will be moving slow and the fast pointer one node ahead or one by one okay so till the point that they re that their next node will be the same node by condition what i meant is till the point s next is equals to fast next we will be traversing these two pointers okay so now let us traverse them suppose slow has come till here fast has also come till here and here one more point to consider previously we were moving fast pointer two more node whereas slow was moving to one next node but now while removing the loop we will be moving slow and fast both of the pointer as one node ahead okay so now slow will be moving to the next node fast will be moving to the next node till this time see slow's next point which is 4 same as fast next point which is also 4 right so you do remember that i have told you that in this detecting and removing linked list uh, sorry loop in a linked list scenario the this particular concept is very important that when you reach that particular very first node whose next node is already visited it means that your linked list has a loop and that particular loop that particular next node is the starting of your loop and sometimes this also has been asked in the interview that whether that what is which is that particular first node from where that loop has been started okay so, so this is that pro tip from my side that whenever your s next is equal to your f next okay is equal to equal to your f next that particular next is the starting of your loop in the linked list okay so you just print it and you will get that particular loop uh, node uh, you get you will get the particular node in your linked list okay now how to remove it 
what we'll do is we will just point our f next to null so just imagine that we broke this and our f next instead of this instead of this it will be pointing to null right so we just broke this and we have pointing f next to null and that is how we got this loop free linked list so you might be thinking how using this floyd algorithm this slow and fast pointer is reaching to that point where the loop actually got started okay now let us decode that first imagine that from 1 to 4 this distance is m from 4 to 8 means the meet point of slow and fast pointer is k and the whole loop starting from 4 to 0 to 4 it is l okay now let us consider that your fast pointer has taken i number of complete cycle of this loop till before they meet for the first time for us it is 8 and j is the number of complete cycle taken by the slow pointer before they meet for the first time with the fast pointer okay now the distance covered by the fast pointer is m plus m this m m plus l into i l means loop i will be the number of cycle so l into i plus k so this part this part k and for s it is m plus l into j plus k j is the number of loops taken by the slow pointer now we know that the slow pointer the fast pointer has covered twice as distance covered by the slow pointer right because every time we were moving slow pointer by one node we were moving the fast pointer by two nodes so that is why distance travel by fast pointer equals to twice of the distance travel by the slow pointer so what is the distance uh, travel by the fast pointer is this this one equals to 2 into this one so what we uh, what we did is m plus we just make it as m plus k equals to l into i minus 2j then we just move this k here so we got m equals to l into i minus 2j minus k this this loop this in, this you can consider as an integer so suppose you have a loop okay so you starting from one particular point so if l by 2 means you have gotten to this point so then l means you have again reached to this point so whatever this integer is from whichever point you have started you will be reaching to this point only l into integer means if it is not half then 1 2 3 4 whatever it is after that particular cycle you will be reaching that first point only okay so now let us understand this point m equals to l into some integer point minus k so does this make any sense yes see m means this distance when we started after slow and fast pointer meet at a particular point we took any one of the pointed for to the head right and we started moving it and similarly from this entry uh, meet point we started moving the other pointer also one by one node okay so now see m is till this point till 4 and what about this 8 9 0 this whole is l from 4 to 8 is k so from 8 to 4 is l minus k nothing but l this whole loop minus 4 to 8 which is k so this 8 9 0 4 is nothing but l minus k so here we saw that m equals to l into y minus 2j which can be any integer can be 1 so for our for our understand better understanding we can consider that in our case this was 1 okay so which means that m equals to l minus sorry m equals to l minus k that's what we got which means that distance covered by your slow pointer here is similar to your fast pointer here from 8 to 4 okay which is m equals to this whole loop l minus 4 to 8 or 4 to the meet point k and that is how floyd cycle is getting utilized in detecting and removing your loop from a linked list yo if you like this video please do like share and subscribe to my channel it means a lot to me i'll be catching up with you guys in my next video till then keep learning with pra